Hey guys and girls, I'm Ali, and today we are playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, I started out and I'm gonna have uh, the playthrough kind of in a few parts. So this is the start of the next part. I hope you have fun. I'm still playing as Ali and still being a guy. Um, there's th this whole first uh, time that I sit down and play it. It will be like that. So I'm sorry for that. It's gonna be weird. Very weird. But um, I still hope you have fun. And to everyone who suggested me playing that, I hope you're happy. So let's get into this. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will you like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Oh god. Now you're gonna have to... Uh, wow, I don't even know. What are we doing? Uh, nature, lust, bubbles, tears, massacre, <laughs> fluffy, kiss, chocolate, judgment, happiness. So Natsuki is gonna have all the cute fluffy stuff. Uh, Yuri is gonna have, like, massacre. <laughs> because she's like the, the, the one who reads horror. I don't know what, like, the others would like. I'm not sure. But honestly, uh, I love chocolate. I, I need chocolate. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just gonna... I don't know if I should do anything like what they like or just something I want. Frightening beauty together, sunset pout, jump, dazzle milk, kawaii, rainbow. Hmm. Yeah. I like sunsets. Imagination, fantasy, laugh, analysis, disarray, uncontrollable, sadness, charm, cute, love. I'd say imagination. Perfect, sensation, passion, destiny, aura, childhood, puppy, summer, whistle, despise. Okay. You had me at puppy. Marriage, incapable, email, vertigo, crimson, sugar, memories, vibrant, unstable, scars. Um, I really like the word crimson, just, I don't know, I, I really like the sound of it. Mouse, unrequited, portrait, effulgent, romance, silly, after image, daydream, special, question. Daydream. Forgive, tragedy, existence, climax, secretive, anxiety, dance, jumpy, intellectual, socks. Why ever would you put socks in there? Um, maybe secretive? Lucky, pleasure, bed, captive, pure, landscape, dark, melody, excitement, tenacious. I'd say melody because it's music. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just gonna take whatever words I like the most and then see what happens and maybe get a strategy for next strategy for next time. Disoriented, unending, explode, family, eternity, strawberry, sweet, infallible, misery, inside. I'm switching between strawberry and eternity. I take the strawberry. Anime, calm, peace, wrath, extraordinary. Defeat, suicide, cheer, journey, skirt, anime. <laughs> Flying, embrace, color, smile, awesome, cage, lazy, unrestrained, lollipop. Comfort. Uh, flying. Headphones, amazing, play, cry, flower, games, pink, raindrops, heaven sent, essence. Do, 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 do. I take the headphones. Empty, grief, sing, party, shopping, doki doki, whatever that is. Vivid, shame, swimsuit, breathe. I'm taking the singing. Skipping, fickle, dream, agonizing, warm, playground, ocean, clumsy, fester, pain. Mm. Since I had weird dreams last night, I'm gonna take the dream. Valentine, sparkle, vacation, blanket, atone, spinning, determination, hope, shiny, adventure. A shiny adventure. <laughs> um, blanket, because I want to sleep. 
Peaceful, ambient, alone, vitality, inferno, clouds, philosophy, fear, candy, vivacious. Um, for everyone who who knows me, I'm gonna pick the inferno because it's hell. Bouncy, death, loud, music, rain cloud, bunny, flea, marshmallow, prayer, hop. I'm gonna take the music. Nibble, sticky, meager, whisper, universe, fun, rose, extreme, pressures, heartbeat. I'm gonna take the universe. Anger, graveyard, joy, misfortune, waterfall, giggle, holiday, starscape, lipstick, uncanny. Starscape. Friends, sunny, poof, time, disaster, treasure, broken, twirl, pubba, cheeks. Uh, sunny. I don't know what happened. I have no idea what that will be, but let's just see what happens. Hi again, Allie. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> no, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Allie. I hope this isn't too overwhelming for, of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. Oh, yeah, we're a guy. <laughs> so you already told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck with between saying Monica and manga. <laughs> manga is literature! <laughs> I second that. <laughs> I... It's something to read. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Ali always gives it best as long as he's having fun. It's still so weird. Why can't I change the name? I would, I would do, like, another name. He helps me with busy work without ev me even asking. I should have known that this is supposed to be a guy. I was... I didn't know anything about this game, okay? I'm sorry. If anyone knows how to change the name, tell me. I like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> wow. You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Ali can become good friends too. Um, Sayori? Hmm? As usually, Say the Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Uh oh! Yuri even brought you something today, you know. Wait! <laughs> okay, I don't know. Like, ah! What is happening? Not really, don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Like a big deal when it's really not. What do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means that it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right, well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Why not? Yeah! This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you, I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew! Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So Yuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense ex expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man. It looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slump down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? 
uh, read the book Yuri gave you? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know. We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm, that doesn't solve the problem though. Uh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori is t taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. I can't talk. What is happening to me today? Hmm, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Oh, uh, well, I guess we could. Cupcakes! <laughs> of course it's cupcakes. <laughs> good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Cupcakes it is, then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Ooh, well, she's close. I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does your school have a napping club? Our school. You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Oh, help. <laughs> Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... it's a secret. I knew it. Come on, at least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Huh? Sayori glances around at herself. How it is, is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Ah. I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. And obviously this will be seen as some flurry action. <laughs> Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow is, isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right there. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Wow, weird jerk. <laughs> hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why don't why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Wow. That is that that's cold. That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Okay. This is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Huh? You don't say that. You make me, you'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Um, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? 
I struggle to fully close the button. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. Yeah, girl, that happens. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now, so... Why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Oh, it's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. And back to it. So it didn't do anything. That's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out, twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you'd take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. That logic is... Okay. Questionable at best, but okay. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Huh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on getting to bed earlier. Fine, fine, it's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Well, happens. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again. Oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Uh, Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Ellie, I can wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Siori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? We did, technically. We, we chose words. Yeah, my relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Ooh! Okay, so... Showing the poem. Hmm. Our... Technically, the, the best friend we had. Kind of. The, the cute girl, the, 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 the nice horror girl. <laughs> and Monica. I have no idea. That's probably why you choose a certain set of words, just to make it appealing to one of them, and then show the poem to those, this girl first. I'm just gonna do it to Monica because she didn't have like any certain words. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem and I want her to know I'm putting an effort. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm, I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Okay. So she got the most words? Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had these sort of things in common. Uh, well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm, well, that may be the case, but maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading a poem. You sure you're not reading into it too much? Huh, <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. 
And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I can feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love seeing you try and to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward the own, their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. See, that's why I choose my words. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Uh, it seems like our character does. <laughs> uh, nervous laugh though. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hmm, we're gonna read that. <clears throat> Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction this spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend, I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late, my readiness. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Okay. That is, yeah, free form, if that's what you call it. Yeah, it's it's not like a conventional poem. It's more like, yeah. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influenced by p influencing my palm poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about Steve deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Oh, I have a feeling she's gonna have some backstory. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Actually, this advice is really popular and I can totally understand it. Sometimes you just have to write things down let go of your inner critic who tells you, hey, that's bad. You can still add it afterwards. Just write it. Let it lie down for weeks or months and then read it again. And then you can see how you can make it better. She's she's right with that. It's, it's fun how it's like supposed to start off as like a dating game, kind of. <laughs> But the most interest I show is in the, the writing advice and stuff like that. <laughs> Thanks for listening. So yeah, this is the end of a part. I don't know in how many parts I will split this game section. You will probably know at the end of this. Um, but yeah, that's the end of this video. Um, I don't want to put in like a multiple hour whatever. So... I guess on this note, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!